My name is Caroline Patterson and I'm one of the directors of a film called Wasted. Well, it's a film that is um, an improvised film. It's quite kind of out there. It's uh, a film set on the street about addiction and it's a love story and I'm kind of slightly an unusual filmmaker in the sense that um, I took away all the kind of filmmaking things and um, tried to make a film that um, we went in the rehearsal room for six weeks and we brought in real addicts, we brought in lots of different things um, to rehearse it for six weeks and then go and shoot it. So it was like, let's try and be instant in filmmaking rather than it being, um, it takes six years to develop. It was like, how can we make a film that doesn't take this long and that the energy that you start with, that you keep it and make the film. So. We shot it last year, this time, and we're here at the festival. So it took a year to make, so I'm, fe I'm really pleased about that. How did you get it funded? Scottish Screen and BBC Scotland. We didn't have a script, we had a story. I wrote a story and went, and I gave them photographs and images and I said, this is the way we want you to work. We, we, we improvise, we do a lot, you know. And I said, you either buy into it or you don't buy into it because I was so fed up having meetings about development and scripts being passed and emails being passed that I was like, let's go back to the way I made theatre. I did a lot of improvised plays. How can we get back? How can we kind of be like a band? How come a band goes into a room and they create an album and no one's in there going, hmm, oh, I don't know about that song. I'm unsure about that line in the song. They go and they create it and then they come out and then the criticism happens maybe then, but um, that's the way I see Wasted. It was you know, organic, collaborative with the actors. I, I chose a lot of people who I know who can improvise, which not every actor can. Um, Would you work like that before? Oh, always. Always. In, in, in the theatre that I directed, and also I worked on a film as an actress, I'm an actress as well, called Rehab, um, with an Antonia Bird, and I was quite inspired by her. She was fantastic to work with and really organic and gave you control as an actor and I love that you give responsibility to the actors and they will actually start to take control and it's like unfortunately there's a lot of actors out there that never get the control it's like not being frightened to throw it out on the floor and say what do we think about this I'm unsure about this and not feel that you're out of control I just feel sometimes directors are seen as you've got to be this kind of dictator, and I think that is the wrong way, especially for women. You know, I've got two children, and I live in London, and I'm poor, and I've made my first feature. I've just got money for um, development for my next, but I just actually go, I don't know how I'm going to do it, <laughs> because I've got a family. I feel sometimes this industry is about either gay men or men whose wives kind of um, look after the children and do that bit, and it's like, I would love to make my next film, but I don't know actually physically because I'm getting texts from my son going, please come back. And you're like, oh God, this is really hard, you know. But um, it's quite a buzz to be here. Um, we're going to uh, Carlo Barry in Prague for three days while I'm home, but my family will let me go. Um, you know, they haven't seen the film, they're not interested in the film, they just want me as a parent. So how did the experience of making a film compare to theatre? Like a theatre's a background? That's what we go back to. I was like, I want control here. I am so fed up having too many producers, too many chefs spoil the soup. I'm like, by the end you go, I don't know what I'm making anymore, I've forgotten because I've got to incorporate so many notes, so many, I think this, I think that. Um, that, I, that we kept it a low budget film in terms of like let's control it and I did a lot of work with um, real um, heroin addicts and spent my days at centres because I've written it so I just wanted to know that I knew everything there was so that when the actors kind of came on board I, I brought people in and they, they gave their testimonies to, the, to their stories so the actors just constantly learned every day and it, if you're asking somebody to improvise you got to know what you're talking about, but actually Antonia Bird inspired me to that. Um, I suddenly went, I think I can do this. And also her film is not 
you say improvisation and everyone goes, oh, it's just a lot of blah, 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 blah. Yours is not. My main aim is to try and create a film that was filmatic, visually, and it's not about words, it's about moments and, 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 and looks. And So I'm really pleased with the outcome because I didn't know how... I thought, this is how you do it, but, you, you know, 100%, you don't know what... If it is... Have you had it? Have you had a screening yet? Has it premiered? We did, last night. How'd it go? Great. Um, it's a bit of a film that everyone comes out and you say, what do you think? Because I know it inside out, I know every word, I know every moment, and I'm numb to it now. And they go, can I have a minute? I'm just so upset. So it's kind of, it's, it's quite shocking, that the, the reaction, everyone's really quite disturbed by it. But I'd rather have, like, everyone loved it or hated it, I'd rather have that than I kind of, mm, well... I think it is a very film festival film. I don't see it kind of, it's not Billy Elliot, do you know what I mean, for sure. Um, Somewhere you're going to turn left, turn right, it doesn't actually matter. 